Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Pro Series Airbag Leather Suit. RST are going all out to make airbags a more common part of motorcycling and this Pro Series airbag suit is one of three RST one-piece race suits with airbags integrated inside them. This Pro Series suit is aimed at road riders and track dayers and it costs £749.99. I'll get to the airbag part of it in a minute as it's the same setup that's used in all of RST's airbag suits and jackets. First, let's cover the suit that's wrapped around it. The cowhide has several accordion stretch panels or motion panels as RST call them. The panels each side of the torso and around the hips extend up as far as the shoulders and they give the suit the expansion room that you'll need if the airbag inside it ever deploys. They're joined by plenty of other similar panels across the suit. They're at the upper arm, above the elbows, from hip to hip via the lower back and also above each knee. In addition, there's a four-way stretch fabric that's used at the shoulders, inside the arms here, and from the crotch all the way down to the ankle. The cowhide is perforated in key areas to allow it to breathe. There are sections on the front of the torso and also on the inside of the thighs. It's then reinforced with external armour at the shoulders and at the knees, and there are removable sliders at the elbows and the knees. Inside the knees, there are also panels of a high-grip Kevlar material it's both abrasion resistant and it help, also helps you stay braced during braking rather than sliding forward in the bike seat. The seat is a double layer of leather and there's a light foam insert to also help protect the coccyx. Behind the neck, there's an aero hump to smooth out airflow as it comes off the back of the helmet as well. The main fastener, that's a simple zip with a leather tab across the top to stop the zip puller flapping around. And then both collar and cuffs are neoprene lined to make them feel more comfortable against the skin. Inside this suit, the main attention grabber is clearly the airbag. It's the in and motion bag that's used in a growing number of brands kit. RST are going big guns with it and they're integrating the bags into lots of their jackets and suits. This, as I said earlier, is one of three leather race suits with airbags from RST. The more focused race department suit sits above this one in the range and then there's a more road oriented podium that sits beneath it. That racier suit, the race department, is 250 quid more than this one. And the podium, the roadie suit, is 250 quid less at 500 pounds. The airbag in this suit works on electronic sensors that read your movements on the bike and they can detect when a crash is in progress. It promises to take around 33 milliseconds to detect a crash and about 22 milliseconds to fully inflate the bag around your spine, collarbone, thorax and your abdomen. That's around half the time it takes to blink an eye and that's if you're really fast at blinking. The bag is permanently fixed inside the suit and it comes with the electronic in and box system, which is the unit's brain. That slots into the housing, which is incorporated into a regular back protector fixed into the suit. Switch the unit on and it'll monitor your riding and it'll be there in case you need it. The switch to activate or deactivate the airbag is inside the unit, which you can access by unzipping part of the suit's liner. If you take a tumble and the airbag deploys, one of the big benefits of the in and motion system is that you can get it back up and running yourself, assuming that the suit and the bag itself isn't damaged, of course. You can screw a new inflator into the unit to recharge the system yourself, where most other high-tech airbags need to be returned to a dealer or the manufacturer after they've been deployed. The most commonly mentioned downside to the inner motion system is the need to pay extra for the tech that runs the airbag. You can either lease that tech for 120 euros a year, or you can buy it outright for 399 euros. And if you're buying this suit for the track, you need an additional algorithm that's able to detect the types of crash that you're likely to have on track. That costs another £25 per year, though one year of that is included free when you buy this suit. As well as the airbag and the integrated back protector, on the inside of this suit there's a full set of limb armour included. The shoulder, elbow and hip armour all meets level 2 of the CE safety standard, while the knee armour meets the basic level 1. Overall, the suit is rated to the highest AAA rating within the CE standard, which shows it's up to the job of protecting you on track. Also inside, the liner is really comfy with sections of 3D bubble liner in key areas to help with breathability. 
The fit for this suit is slightly more relaxed than RST's range topping race department suit, but that doesn't mean it's baggy. It just means you don't have to stand hunched forward to make it comfortable, which is often the case with a pure racing leather suit, which is really designed to put you into the racing crouch. RST say this suit is perfect for track days, and I'd back that up based on my experience. I used this on the road and it was absolutely fine for that in terms of cut. One piece suits aren't the most practical option for road riding. There's few, if any pockets, there's no thermal lining and you can't split the top half from the bottom half. But when riding a sports bike, a one piece suit is usually best suited to the crunched up riding position that those kind of bikes demand. I spent a couple of days out and about on a couple of different bikes in this suit. And the only time I noticed it had an airbag was when I either put it on or when I took it off. Having an inflexible section in the back that houses all the electronics means more of a wriggle to get into the suit than usual, but that was the only real time I noticed it. The rest of the time I forgot it was there. For me, that's been the key to making airbags a more common part of the biking experience. I only want to know it's there when I need it, and that's what a suit like this offers. The overall construction quality of this suit is very impressive, even without taking into account the airbag inside it. For the 750 quid price, the RST Pro Series airbag leather suit offers a hell of a lot of protection. Yes, you'll need to factor in the 120 pound a year lease on the technology, but, but for people who want the most protection and reassurance, then I don't think that cost is too difficult to justify. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Pro Series airbag leather suit but it is hard to go into full depth on a suit this complex. So if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, please put your comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. Thanks for watching.